plus 700 pin right at the end of this point here. Okay, new high banker uh, is going to be, or a new spot for high banker. Right where we're going to set it is 600 plus, which is really good. We can start mining right beside the high banker. Oh, she looked comfortable. Hot day. You can barely keep her eyes open. Sits on a pile of wet gravel <laughs> while supervising the work. Okay, here's another new test pan right at the very edge of the zone and it looks really good and if you look closely you can see some of these specks of gold here they've got kind of an orangey appearance they that means they come from Mount Mordor no it really means they probably have a higher percentage of copper you can see how some of them are discolored spooky gold Okay, so I wanted to point something out that really boosts our efficiency for a hand operation. It doesn't really apply for machines and bigger stuff. But what we've done over here, if you look, this material is wet. So when you examine the rocks, of course, material gets encrusted to it. And you have to wash the rocks in order to get full gold recovery. Um, but in lots of these areas over here that we were working, for example, the rocks were very very dirty and so you have to wash all of them meaning you have to haul a lot more rocks to the high banker whereas what we're doing over here since all this material on this high zone is dry so what we've been able to do is rake and pick a lot of these rocks first and it essentially upgrades the material underneath and then when we shovel in here most of the material ends up being fine gravel and then we can even pre-screen a bit more so it's like these rocks contain no grout or no gold or the chance of it having a gold flake stuck to it is almost zero so you can chuck it away and we keep upgrading our ore so that each bucket that's sent to the high banker has higher and higher grades and you're consuming less energy to do it because you're carrying less rock so it can be really helpful but in some cases you have to set up a wash station because if you don't wash the rocks you're losing a lot of gold but you have to balance that with time and effort and all the other factors you have to consider when you're out here mining. So something like this that we made wet ourselves just through the water of our coarse tailings, this is now harder for us to mine, or it takes a little bit more effort because we'll have to wash these rocks. They'll get scooped up and carried in. And each of these rocks, like if you take a handful of gravel, that contains way more flower gold than if I take a rock that fills my hand. Pretty self-explanatory. And that's what's really boosting our efficiency at this point. And then the other obvious factor, of course, is we're mining right here and just moving the buckets a few feet very fast. And over here, the material is close enough that we can direct shovel into the high banker and the pre-hopper. And that is about as efficient as you get and discharging high up here so that it goes down and uh, you don't need to shovel or move the tailings really because it's such a high, it's so high up that reclaiming this is really easy. You can just rake these tailings out and we're done. Whereas over here on a, a flat terrain, you have to do a lot more work moving the tailings around. Just something to consider.
Okay, here's October 5th. Clean out, we ran um, 65 pails of a lot richer material. Some of our pans were up to 7, 750, 800 in a pan. So this is, I ran it through the six inch mini here first. Gold all the way to there. Um, I don't see any in the last two, three riffles. But up here is looking really good. Okay, I'll run it through the three inch mini now. Okay, so I ran uh, 65 pails from the six inch mini and I just ran it through the three inch mini here. Just less panning and faster this way, hopefully. Some gold about 10 12 inches up. But I was kind of splashing it out of a pan, so didn't get a real nice even flow here, but it's still looking really, really good. Somehow I got gold on the side here, which isn't good. Okay, we'll pan this out, see what we got. 